Hey everyone, Raven here, and welcome back to episode 10 of Stoneblock 2, where today we're going to continue on with Project E and hopefully make ourselves a transmutation table. So sit back, enjoy the video, and let's see what we can't get done. All right, so just a quick rehash of what I did in between episodes, and I will tell you, it wasn't a whole lot. Uh, most of the things I did was just continue to upgrade these guys to their Draconic level, and I also upgraded my armor to Draconic as well and made myself a bow, mainly because I went and farmed a few more of the end chicken, just so we had the eggs that we were going to need for the transmutation tablets. And I do... I do really feel like we need to push through and get over to this transmutation table at least. Uh, main reason being is we need to start generating power as soon as we can. And when I say power, I don't mean this measly 100,000 we have over there. I mean hundreds of millions of RF per tick. And the easiest way for us to do that is going to be with the transmutation table since we'll be able to you know, make one of the blocks and then yeah, just copy and paste it. So in order for us to get into that, however, we need to make a few things for this transmutation table. Uh, specifically, uh, we need, I keep saying, uh, specifically, we need things like this alchemical chest. And as you can see, it's taking co covalence dust and the low, medium and high. Each one of these is something that we need to make in the empowerer. So we need to set these guys up and hopefully, you know, automate them a little bit. So what I did here was I just made a little bit of a, an area. I have some power cables running through and then an item conduit up to the center here. Uh, it's been a long time since I've used this. So I don't remember if the center block needs power or not, but we are going to find out. So the first thing we need to make is display stands. So we are going to need some black quartz and some Restonia, which I think I think we have Restonia in here just in the block form. At least I thought I had made a bunch of it, but it doesn't appear that we did. So let's just grab a bunch of this and go upstairs to our atomic dis is what is it called? Atomic dislocator, atomic assembler, atomic something or other discombobulator uh, reconstructor. There we go. All right, now that we have a few of these good old pieces, we can make ourselves, uh, and we don't have any more black, black quartz. I think we do, and I just never actually took it out of the system. Let's see. Yeah, we have, <laughs> we have a little bit in there. We'll just toss this in here. All right, where were we? There we go. We have 62. So how many of these do we need? We need four, two, three, four, five, because we're gonna need to make five display stands because one of the display stands is needed to craft the empower. So we'll just toss this in here. And what else are we missing? We're missing green blocks, which is just chiseled quartz. All right. And what else are we missing? So regular quartz and chiseled quartz is what we need. So we have our aesthetic, aesthetic. <laughs> I'm really good with pronouncing words. All right, let's try this one more time. Throw you up one, two, three, four. There we go. Five. And then to make the actual empower, we're going to need one of these double batteries, which we're going to need a single battery for. Wow, we are just completely ill-prepared for this. Single battery, double battery, and we're still missing... Didn't we just make a double battery? We're gonna need two of these iron casings, which we're gonna need more of the quartz for. And we have our empowerer. <laughs> so that was a lot of work just to get that. But once we come down here, we can just toss our display stands over here and this is what's going to hold the items and our empower over here then if we come down 
let's see this guy is green and this one i think is brown yes so we'll just set this one to insert on brown and we'll just extract a blue these guys are going to be insert on green and extract on blue actually insert on green we don't even need to extract on these because these guys are going to be eaten up in the craft crafting process anyways and last one insert there we go so then we just have to make sure that we turn this guy on and all right we'll just come down here we'll toss a crate in here and we'll say we want you to insert on blue and that's it and now i'm trapped <laughs> All right, so now if we toss items in here, it should put them into our display stand. Uh, the one thing we didn't do, which we're gonna have to, is set this guy right here to round robin. And I put another cake down. All right, so now when we toss items in here into this chest, it should go into our display stands. And when we toss items into here, it should go into the center one. Then after it's done crafting, it should pop back out into our crate here. So for the low convalence dust, let's see, we're going to need double compressed cobblestone and redstone. So let's see how much of that we actually have. Cobblestone. I did hook up a tier five cobblestone generator to uh, one of the compacting drawers. So we can take you and then it was just redstone right so let's just grab four of those guys and just see what happens here we toss you in there and we toss you in there all right so rule number one when you're setting up uh your energy conduits make sure they have energy feeding to them <laughs> let's grab ourselves a point we'll just take you and we can just toss you right there for now Revan chunk loaded and that should be good all right so that's gonna do its thing uh and then once we get once we complete all of it we can come back and we can start working on our medium conveyance dust which is going to be base essence ingots so let's grab us some of those so that we are prepared that's just going to be prosperity shard and iron and then we're going to need some more redstone for that as well two three four so we can actually just toss the redstone back over in here and then we can just toss these ingots in here so it will make its way through all of the double compressed cobblestone and then it'll start eating up the the base essence ingots and then for the high covalence dust we need coal and infused diamonds so we can just make a stack of... Oh, really? We're out of dimensional shards. So dimensional shards comes from the ore. And I guess we can just make some of those. And we're out of prism marine. I thought we had a lot of this. Because I think we get this from sieving... Let's see here. Oh, from sieving sponges. Oh. Well, it looks like I got to set up a chicken for that. But for now, I think we'll make do with the with with what we actually have here. Uh, mainly because of the fact that once we've completed this, we'll be able to uh, pull these guys out as we want and we can just make more of it. Plus, we get four, it looks like we get 40 <laughs> per diamond. So... Let's just make it, can we make it an even 32? Yeah, that'll do it. And that way we only need two stacks of coal. One, two. All right, so we'll we'll keep these guys on standby. We'll just toss you in there and it should, it should take in that order. So it shouldn't, uh, it, it shouldn't start trying to pull these infused diamonds until after all the redstone's gone. But yep, we'll bring you guys back when this is all done. All right, so I actually ended up taking a bunch of the material out of this crafter crafting setup here, mainly because of the fact that you, I was getting so much of the conveyance dust per craft that 
it just didn't seem necessary to to let it continue on to do a full stack of everything so save myself a little bit of a time hopefully i won't come to regret it later on but let's just take all of this good stuff and toss it up into our system and then we can come on up to our fusion center over here and let's see what did we need we needed uh we needed the covalence dust in order to make the alchemical chest and we're going to need a couple of these diamond chests so we're going to have to kind of go through the line here we need iron chests now we can toss those into a stack of gold chests and make our way up to the diamonds there we go so now we have diamond chests and we're going to need some of this diamond lattice go and let's just grab a stack of these i'm not sure how many we're going to need but having extra is not going to hurt especially because these don't actually have emc it always surprises me when things from project e don't actually have emc you know especially when it's a it's a fairly simple fairly simple recipe all right so for this transmutation tablet, we need the alchemical chest. We're going to need four of them, and we're going to need some of these energy condensers, uh, energy collectors, and antimatter relays. So the energy collectors are going to be glowstone. Let's see here. Glowstone, this, and energy collector tier one. So let's add this guy onto our list. We can just take all of these off. We, uh, I, I was playing around terminal, so I put those as patterns and we can take you off. We don't need you or you. All right. So we have these guys. All right. Let's see what else we're going to need to make. We're going to need to make you, but we're going to need this first one for you. So let's toss that in. These are all going to be fairly simple. It's just going to be you're requiring us to make them and the quibits i think we already have those let's see what else we got yeah i think the only thing we were really waiting on was the center section right here so for you i need the chest and some red matter dark matter a dirt chest we're gonna have to make you and a crystal chest we're gonna have to make you but we only need one of these guys, so I, I'm not too concerned about it. And I'm so used, I'm I'm so not used to actually having this wireless terminal. I always want to start heading back towards my base to make stuff. All right, so first things first, we need to make some of these energy collectors. We need four of them to begin with, so we're going to need four of our regular furnaces. Two, three, four. And then we are going to need some glowstone, glass, and diamond, so... Just pop you guys up in here. So then we just need to toss our diamond. Oh, why did you only do one? Okay, so for whatever reason, it's only allowing me to put one piece of diamond in, but it'll take a full stack of glass. That's kind of weird. All right, so we can just toss our, our furnaces in there and hit start and let these guys do their thing. So I'm not sure what the issue is here, but I've had this happen more than once where it'll just get to an 87% charge and then fail. And it's usually because one of the blocks doesn't want to, doesn't want to register. Like, as you see here, it's just now starting to get the ball uh, of energy around it. And before when it was in the center, it wasn't doing that whatsoever. Might be because this one's not getting RF for whatever reason. I really, I can't wait till I actually can just upgrade these guys to the cryo stabilized flux duct. So I can only have one point on it. So, all right, we have our four tier one uh, or mark ones. Now we just need to upgrade these guys to tier two. So the only difference is instead of diamond, we need dark matter. Uh, let's see, dark, we should have plenty of because we've gotten a lot of it from rewards. So we'll just toss, we'll just toss that right in there. And then we can also take the glass out and we're gonna need to grab a few more glowstone because we need seven glowstone this time. So we'll just toss that like that. And then we can just toss you guys in and rinse and repeat. All right, we have our Mark IIs, and I did make an extra Mark II and an extra Mark I, just so that once we actually get the transmutation tablet, we can just toss those guys in there 
and we can we won't actually have to make them anymore so the next thing that we need to do is move on to these antimatter relays and that's just going to be obsidian glass and diamond so we can toss our diamond our glass down there and see we can just grab our obsidian we can just grab our obsidian like right here and, and that should be fine and six so then we just grab our chests we'll make six of them to start with all right we have six of the mark one so let's just take five of these guys we can pop them back up in here we'll take our glass off throw another thing of obsidian down and this time it's going to be the dark matter and we just rinse and repeat yet again all right so we now have i think we should have everything that we need uh as far as these guys concerned the last piece that we're going to need for this puzzle is going to be the if i can actually pull up the right thing here is going to be this energy condenser so we needed the dirt chest let's just uh, actually go into our crafting menu here we need a dirt chest and we need a crystal chest which is just a diamond chest surrounded with glass and where did all of our diamond chests go oh that's right we <laughs> we use them all all right, we'll just, uh, we'll go through this process again here. And crystal chest. So then we also need four dark matter and four of the red matter. The dark matter we already have, the red matter, let's see here. What do we need for this? We need three dark matter and some of this fuel here. So we can, let's actually see if this works. Let's craft this up. 64 of this real quick. And apparently we don't have a, oh, I was gonna say. So we're missing a philosopher's stone. So, hmm. All right, well, <laughs> I guess we do this the hard way. All right, we managed to craft up uh, enough of this fuel that we should be able to pull out four of these guys real quick. There we go. All right, so let's uh, let's check out this recipe one more time. Energy condenser, alchemical chest for the dark matter, four of the red matter, a dirt chest, and a crystal chest, which means we are going to need more of these fusion crafters, which... I think, yeah, we, we got these guys right here. So we can just grab a couple more points. We'll just grab two for now. Cause I think all we need is, is two of them. So how far are we? We are one, one, two, three. It's going to go there. So we need to put our point here and toss this on here. And then we'll just select our, our network and disable limit and, oh, Toss the surge on as well. Then we'll do the same thing over on this side. Um, actually, we'll just put it over here since. Hello. All right, that should be fine. So if we take our crystal chest, toss it in there, and our dirt chest, then we needed two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the same thing with the red matter. And was there anything else that we needed for this? Oh, that should be good. So we have 10 items and then we just need to toss in one of our alchemical chests up here. And start that bad boy up. And with that, we should have everything we need. We have our four Mark IIs and we have our energy condenser. So let's just grab this so that we can EMC it real quick once we actually get the table, the tablet built. So if we come over to our extreme crafting table here, let's see, this goes in there and these guys go, nope, 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 nope. These, yeah, these guys go <laughs> along the outside. And let's see here. We need... So 
the mark two the relays right there and then the energy collectors and then the only thing we should be missing is the dragon eggs which we have six of because like i said i did go and slay a few more of the end chicken and there we have it we have our transmutation table awesome <laughs> i'm so happy to have this i i can't even can't even say so now we can just kind of toss these guys in learn them and burn them uh same thing with our dark matter uh these chests don't go in there eh, you you can go in there and there we go do these yeah these even have uh emc on them so we can toss those in there as well might as well just toss toss everything that we have all right that can be learned Lock of diamond can be learned. We'll toss that in there. Glass. Ah, I love, I love project D. All right. So let's see what this got us. We, we got our chest. We got this guy, the equivalence exchanger. We, we haven't made yet, which is energy condenser Mark two. Oh, we didn't make an extra energy condenser. Oh, well I can make one a little bit later. Climbing gloves, which, uh, and I feel like we collected more quests than that, but oh yeah, this guy. Wow. Three hoppers for making the transportation table. Thank you. So with that, we are already up to 25 million <laughs> EMC, which is, uh, is, is nothing <laughs> compared to what we need to be. Let's see. Where is this? Yeah, this is nine something, 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 something. The, 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 the number is not even long enough. So again, one of the main reasons that I wanted this transmutation tablet or table right here uh, is so that we can get into some pretty hardcore power generation. So next episode, we'll start making the machines that we're going to need in order to get into that. So we're going to have to get into mechanism. But for now, I think we can actually go and defeat the chaos chicken. Uh, we was kind of holding off on this because we need to drop a dragon egg and I didn't want to waste all of our dragon eggs before we got the tablet because i can just kind of go like this and boom <laughs> we now have that learned and now we can actually go kill the chaos dragon and we can actually get the chaos shards that we can also throw in our transmutation tablet or table uh, also i've been collecting oh let's come down here i've been collecting our infinity ingots uh just been getting these guys going i now have four full stacks of infinity cows and we've made ourselves about 50 what is that Fifty-seven thousand infinity ingots so one stack of these is going to give me what is this uh million billion two trillion emc so once we actually get to the chaos uh, i keep calling it a chaos dragon but uh chaos uh chicken there we go. Now we have that learned. <laughs> we shouldn't have any issues pulling out more of the chaos shards because let's see if we come over to this transmutation tablet, as you can see, we're going to need quite a few of these shards. Uh, but before we can actually make the tablet, we need to get into mechanism. Like I said, uh, for these HDPE sheets. So we'll probably, uh, either next episode or the episode after set these guys up. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do power generation first or if I want to just kind of make an episode where I do these H HDPE sheets because that is a process in itself. So I think for now, let's see here, chaos. So we should just be able to go to the end and toss this guy in. So let's just grab our diamonds just in case we need a couple of these. Sometimes it'll actually break, but grab you and we'll just grab a few of you guys so that we can spawn this in a few times. And then we're also going to need our chicken stick. Here's our little chicken whacker. Cause it's going to spawn in with a shield just like the end dragon did and take ourselves over here. We're just going to turn the volume down a little bit. Cause I'm not sure how loud this guy's going to be. All right. So we have, you know, like I mentioned before, we do have our Draconic Armor, which is fully upgraded as well as our sword and bow. So hopefully we shouldn't have too much, too many issues actually disposing of this guy. 
There we go. We'll toss that on and it's going to grow up just like the end dragon did. We're just going to give it a little bit of a little bit of room here. Now, I'm not sure how tough this guy's gonna be because the normal Chaos Dragon is a very unpleasant creature. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping the chicken is a little bit easier, a little less mobile. Um, now, if you come to the thing where it's got this egg, the kind of the shell over it, a lot of times you can kind of crack that. It's not letting me do it. Maybe I gotta hit it with the... All right, hitting it with the hammer seems to break it a little bit. Oh, it's it's talking to us. So with the end dragon, if I hit it with the with the bow, the the shell will start to crack. All right, there it is. Hit him! Come on! All right. <laughs> Finally got the shield down. Now we'll just kind of take him out with the bow here. Ooh. All right. <laughs> he is regenerating. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Well, let's say what? How many times do you have to take him out? All right. So we have three chaos shards from that. Uh, we obviously we get a dragon. I shouldn't say obviously, but we did manage to get a dragon heart, a legendary loot crate, and an epic shader for immersive that we'll probably never lose or never use. So realistically, now that we have the table, we don't ever have to do that again. We can just kind of go back to our base and pretend like this dimension doesn't exist other than these endermen that seem to want to pick a fight with me, even though they're, they're very ill-equipped. There we go. All right, so we can come back over to our table. We can toss a dragon egg in and stone. Yeah, we'll just toss everything that we that we don't want here. These can't go in. These can go in, and our chaos shards. So now we can pull out as many chaos shards as we want, especially because we have a decent amount of EMC for it. Should probably also learn these guys real quick, just in case anything happens. Now, when I pull these back out, um, like if I were to just pull another one of this, it's not going to have any of the upgrades, but at least I wouldn't have to go through the, the troubles of making the armor again. And, ooh, we can actually have infinite booster cards as well. So that's awesome. Oh yeah, and if, if you notice, I, I hid my armor because I don't necessarily like the way it looks. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we get from here. We got a cobblestone generator, nice. So we still do need to kill a zombie pig man and a ghast in order to complete these guys. Uh, we need to make a master tinkerer and we need to complete all these dolls, but I'm not overly worried about that. These cobblestone generators, uh, for whatever reason, the tier four never registered. That's probably because I don't actually think I've ever made a tier four cobblestone generator. Uh, I think I've just been getting them so much from the loot chest that it doesn't make sense for me to make one. Uh, let's see. Do we have a tier three? All right. We can have a tier two. Tier three. Tier four. And we'll just make this since we have the tier four. We're not going to use it for anything. Just claim these guys up real quick. Still not getting anything, anything really decent. Um, let's see this. I think we should be able to make you tool station and tool forge. Again, we never had really had the need to get into into tinkers in this pack other than, you know, making our our castings for our ingots, but with the party pickaxe and everything else that's in here, it just it's it doesn't really make us make a whole lot of sense for us to to waste a whole bunch of time on it. But 
That's my opinion. I did slow down the spawning of our withers as well, just because of the fact that this thing was filling up so much and I really wasn't, I, I, I wasn't needing it. So figure slow it down to about half the speed it was. And we'll kind of go from there. These guys, I can learn you. And then let's see here. We can just take you, grab a stack of you, and then we can also make the ingot itself. So now we are completely learned up on neutronium. So as far as the armor goes, um, let's see, where are you? I think this is an extreme crafting. Normally we'd have to make all these singularities and stuff like that before we can unlock this. But once we make the uh, transmutation tablet, we can then make the tome of knowledge. And I, th I think we should be good and not have to worry about that. Cause I think the tome of knowledge is yeah, the transmutation tablet. So we're gonna have to make two of these guys and we can turn one of them into a tome of knowledge. And the endus pearl is fairly simple. It's, you know, just an extreme crafting recipe. So I'm not too concerned about that, but I think we can address that in another level in another episode. Let's see, what else did we, what did we get here? Oh yeah, the infinity shard. <laughs> However, we are going to have to call it an episode there. Uh, I think we got pretty good, pretty good head start into what we need to do in order to get our power rate up. Again, that is going to be my next main focus is getting into stuff like the steam turbine generator and stuff like that for mechanism. Mostly because of the fact it's, if we get up to, I think about 220 R, 220 million RF per tick, uh, then I think we only have to AFK for about 10 days or so uh, in order to achieve all of the RF that we're going to need in order to get, uh, to make all the balanced clay we're going to need to max out our EMC. But as always, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do so. And as always, guys, be safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys later.